Section 3.2 Interactive Assignment Objective 2. Here we want to be able to compute and compare the standard deviation of two data sets. The following data for a, simp a random sample of banks in two cities represent the ATM fees for using another bank's ATM. We want to compute the range and the sample standard deviation for ATM fees for each city. Which city has the most dispersion based on range? which city has more dispersion based on the standard deviation. So here is our information here, okay? Now the first thing we want to do is we're going to have the data and recall that the range R of a variable is the difference between the largest data value and the smallest data value. Okay, so if we take a look at the first city, which is city A, okay, we want to find the range for city A. We know that the largest data value is 2, and then we're going to subtract the smallest data value of 0.0, .0 which gives us 2.00. Okay, and then we want to look at the range for city B. So the largest data value is 1.50, the smallest data value is 1.00, and that gives us a range of 0 0.50. So let's go ahead and look at our solutions. So the range for city A is $2, and the range for city B is going to be 50 cents. Okay, next what we want to do is we want to find the standard, the sample standard deviation for both city A and city B. So we're going to first up find the standard deviation for city A. Okay, now since we're finding the sample standard deviation, we first need to find the sample mean for city A. So for city A, to find the sample mean, we have to add up all the data values in this column here. So we're going to add 2.0 plus 1.0 plus 1.25 plus 0, 0.0 from 2.0, which gives us 6.25, and we have five observations. So when we find that value, we end up getting 1.25. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a second column, and therefore, there is our sample mean of 1.25 for each cell. Okay, now the next thing we want to do is we want to find the deviation about the mean. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our data value for x, which is 2.0, and then we're going to subtract the mean to give us a deviation of 0.75. Okay, likewise, we're going to take our data value of 1.0. We're going to subtract our sample mean to get a deviation of negative 0.25. And likewise, we're going to take a data value of 1.25, subtract the sample mean of 1.25, and that gives us a deviation of 0. Okay, next, we're going to take our data value of 0. We're going to subtract the sample mean of 1.25 to get a deviation of negative 1.25. And then last, we're going to take the data value of 2.0, subtract the sample mean of 1.25 to get a deviation of 0.75. And now we're going to take these deviations and we're going to square it. So we're going to take 0.75 and square it, and we get 0.5625. Okay, likewise, we're going to take the deviation of negative 0.25 and square it to get 0 0.0625. Next, we're going to take the deviation of 0 and then square it, and then that's also going to give us 0. Next, we're going to take the deviation of negative 1.25 and square it to get 1.5625. Okay, and then we're going to take the last deviation, which is 0.75 and square it, to get 0.5625. Okay, so now we're going to add up our entire column here to find the sum of the deviations squared. When we add them all up, we end up getting 2.75. So now we're going to plug it into the sample standard deviation formula so we can find the standard deviation for city A. So we know that 
The numerator is the sum of the deviation square, which is 2.75. Okay, we also know that the observations, or the number of observations we have is 5. So what we're going to do now is we're going to calculate 2.75 divided by 4, which gives us 0.6875. We're going to take the square root of that to get 0.8291651562. We're going to round this to two decimal places to get the standard deviation of city A to be 0 0.83. Okay. All right, now we're going to do the same thing over here for city B. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to do the exact same thing in finding the sample mean for city B. Okay, so to find the sample mean, we're going to add up all these values. So we're going to add up 1.501, 1.50, 1.50, 1.50 to get 7, divided by the number of observations, which is 5, to give us a sample mean of 1.40. Now, if we look at the first column here, city B, we put in our values. Now, the second column is going to be the sample mean, which we found to be 1.40, so we're putting that in. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we're going to take the data value of X and then subtract the sample mean for city B to get a deviation of 0 0.10. We're going to do the same thing here. Data value of 1. Subtract the sample mean to get the deviation negative 0 0.40. Okay, next we're going to take the data value of 1.50, subtract the sample mean to get a deviation of 0 0.10. And since we're using the same values here for the last two, we know we're going to get the same values. So we know that we have 1.50 as our data value. We know that we're subtracting the sample mean to get 0 0.10 as our deviations. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take our deviation and square it to get 0 0.01. We're going to take our deviation to negative 0 0.40 and square it to get 0 0.116. And the rest of the deviations are the same. So when we square it, we get 0 0.01. Okay. Okay, so now what we want to do is we want to total the square deviations. So to find a total, we're going to take 0 0.01, 0 0.16, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, 0 0.01, and 0 0.01. We add them together, we get 0 0.20. So that means in our formula, in the numerator, we have 0 0.20. We know that our observations are 5. So we're going to find... 0.20 divided by 4, which gives us 0 0.05. We're going to take the square root of that to give us 0 0.2236068. And now rounding it to two decimal places, we get the standard deviation for city B to be 0.22. So now we're going to plug those in. Okay, so we have the standard deviation for city A, which is 0 0.83. We have the standard deviation for city B, which is 0.22. Now, going back to the range, we know the range was 2.0 for city A and 0.50 for city B. So the question says, which city has most dispersion based on range? Well, we would say city A because it has a higher range. Okay. And then we know that the standard deviation for city A is 0.83. Standard deviation for B is 0.22. So what city has most dispersion based on a standard deviation? We would say city A because it has a higher standard deviation.